This is my new fake plant friend. Say hello. Hello. His name is Finley. I might have just made that up on the spot. What up, reader fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a reading vlog. I just felt like vlogging, so we're gonna do it. Today's video is being sponsored by Simon Teen, and in this video, I'm gonna be reading this book right here, The Sky Blues by Robbie Cow. Couch. I almost said Crouch. It's Robbie Couch. Couch. Robbie Couch. Finley, stop it. Stop touching me, Finley. <laughs> this book follows a boy named Sky who is gay, living in this like really small town, and he's just chosen to be like really quiet about his life. Doesn't want to be too much, doesn't want to take up too much space. But then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna do this big promposal for my crush and just go all out. But that plan kind of detours when his promposal plans get leaked online by this hacker in an online e-blast that goes viral. So him and his friends are trying to track down this hacker and expose them. Essentially. That's the synopsis. This is a debut book. It's a contemporary story. I have been in a contemporary mood lately. When am I not? And I'm really excited to read this one. It's gonna be great. At least I hope it's great. We're gonna find out together how I feel about it. I am just Finley. I get that you want to be friends, but can you stop touching me? Maybe I'm too close to Finley. Maybe that's the situation here. Looking forward to reading this throughout this vlog. Today it is very like stormy outside. You can't even see that, but it is rainy outside. It's gloomy 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 and like normally I would want to stay inside and just read all day and like yeah I am gonna stay inside and read quite a bit. I'm gonna be reading quite a bit of this book but I am gonna be going out for a little bit. I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble because there are some book releases that I have not snatched up yet and I need to snatch them up and hold them in my hands and bring them into my life, bring them into my book collection and have them live on my bookshelves. There's also this TikTok drink that showed up in my feed that I've been wanting to make so I need to go to the store to go and grab supplies for that. It's like a straw strawberry matcha situation. And I also want to put together my like Polaroid wall. It's not really a Polaroid wall. It's an Instax wall, but I want to put that together today. I also have a new bookshelf that I'm going to put together. I'm not going to put it together today. I'm going to organize it tomorrow because today just doesn't feel like the day. I can't explain why that's the situation, but that's the situation. But yes, that's the plan. I'm going to kick things off by reading a little bit of this. So let's go. Let's do this thing. The sky blues. The skies are not currently blue, but this book will make them blue. As you can see behind me, I didn't get very far with the Instax wall. This is harder to line up than I expected to, and I just kind of got tired of doing it. I was only doing it for like 30 minutes, but like 30 minutes for like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pictures? Only seven pictures? So I think what I'm gonna do is actually start from the top and then work my way down, but like that was frustrating. But I'm gonna not do this today. I hope I'm not setting myself up for a vlog full of fails, but one thing that I am good at is book buying. I bought some new books today, but first let me just just give you a little update on the reading situation. That's what I should do. Actually, you guys, look at my bookmark. It's a big old throwback. It's a Booksplosion bookmark, and it's got Ariel Bissett on it. Ariel Bissett is not in Booksplosion. She was at the start, though. Anyway, thoughts on this book so far? One thing that's actually really standing out to me is kind of this, like, small town feel. Like, it just is kind of reminding me of my small town that I live in. Like, that aspect is kind of standing out to me and, like, jumping out to me. And I just really love that backdrop in contemporary stories. I actually feel like a lot of contemporaries actually take place in small towns, but whatever, it's fine. And I like this one too because it's like about a character that like doesn't really fit into the norms of a small town. And he's kind of breaking out of those norms. Something else that's sticking out to me is the fact that there's so many characters in this. I was not expecting like a large cast of characters, but I'm here for Rave. We're thriving with all the people that we're interacting with. And I feel like so far everybody that's introduced isn't necessarily like just a side character that's just there. Like everybody's bringing something to the table. Somebody's bringing the mashed potatoes. Somebody's bringing the meat. Somebody's bringing the rolls, which is the most important part. Just 
kidding. But you get what I mean. Everybody is bringing something to the story. I was just introduced to the person that Sky is going to ask to the prom, and they're a charmer. Charmity charm charm charmer. Really enjoying this so far. So far it's solid. I'm excited to get deeper into it. I'm currently only 77 pages in. I would like to get like halfway tonight and then finish the book off tomorrow. So that's the plan for this evening. But I did some book shopping today, so let me share with you some of the damage I did. Does anybody else catch themselves when they're in like Barnes and Noble or just a bookstore in general? And like they have the author's alphabetical order and you're just like in your mind going A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's me. I was doing that all day today as I was like trying to find these books. Also the section I was in, somebody had like completely planted themselves in the aisle, in the section that I needed to get to. And like, I've been there, I've done that, but it was also like, can you just move? I need to get to those books right there that you just completely planted yourself in front of. At the same time, like I get it because I've done that. It's haul time. I've got some books. The first book that I got is the Again But Better paperback because I have to have it as a part of my collection. Gotta support a bestie. A best friend, Christine Riccio, freaking wrote this book. This story follows a girl who falls in love while studying abroad and uh, the love doesn't really work out. But does she get a second chance later on? Read the book and find out. Oh ho ho. Again But Better. Ding, ding, ding. Then I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive for Rule of Wolves. This was the last one they had in stock too and I just completely grabbed it and ran to the cash register because I was not going to miss out on having this. I actually don't even know what's exclusive about it, so let's find out together. Oh, there's an exclusive poster. Wait, how do I get the poster out? I don't want to rip the poster out. I have to rip it out. Oh no, what if I screw it up? Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh that was kind of painful. I really felt like I was going to rip it. Ooh. That's a pretty poster. Pretty pretty, it says. You are strong enough to survive the fall. Wow, I feel uh, motivated. Gotta remember that the next time I fall down. Is there anything else that's exclusive? Oh, there's an annotated chapter. Love that. This is the second book in the King of Scars duology. I feel like, honestly, I need to reread King of Scars before I read this, just because I don't remember much. I remember, like, the big shocking thing that happens in King of Scars, which honestly is probably enough to just, like, dive into this one, but, like, I want to give King of Scars a reread. I mostly just want to reread it because I love Nikolai. Like, Nikolai is one of the best characters from the Grishaverse, and the fact that, like, we have a duology that follows solely him, I'm here for it. I mean, I guess it's not solely him, because there's other perspectives in here, but I want to reread it for Nikolai alone, because he's one of my favorites. Is there anything on the front? Ooh, it's pretty. She beautiful. Okay, I see you. And the last thing that I picked up is Chain of Arin. Arin? Arin? What was I about to say? <laughs> the last thing that I have here is Chain of Iron. I technically already have this. I just have the Illumicrate edition, but like I needed the American hardback edition. So like I got it. I got the goods. It also says on it, Collector's First Edition. Ooh. We love capitalism, trying to make you think that you're getting something really special by putting collector's first edition on it. But yes, that was my book haul. I spent way too much money, but that's how it goes for me. I'm trash. I also got supplies to make that strawberry drink, so I'm gonna attempt to make it right now. I would reshare the person's original TikTok in this video, but they asked for no reshare, so I'm not gonna do that. I will just leave a link down below in the description so you can check out the video, the original video. I love these like drink making videos. Like I am always like, I wanna make all the drinks after I see it. Like, I want to come up with my own recipes, but like, I could never, ever, ever. Like, it's it's not going to happen. I'm probably going to screw up this one as well, but we'll see. But let's give it a try. Hello and welcome to Jesse the Reader's Cafe. I'm actually really excited to try both of these. Did they turn out the way that I thought that they would? No, they never do. When I try these things, they never ever turn out the way I envisioned them. But we can only go up from here, you know? There's room for growth. I'm gonna take that room and I'm gonna fill it. This is the green tea matcha strawberry concoction. It looks like eggnog. It definitely does not look like the creators, but that's all right. Put our own spin on it. I'm more so excited to try this one, but who knows? Maybe this will be the one that just like wins over my heart. Here we go. I'm not mad at that. I will admit it could be a lot sweeter. I need that sweetness, but like, it's not bad. I thought it was gonna be bad. I thought the matcha green tea aspect was gonna make me throw up, but like, it didn't make me throw up. Cheers to that. The whipped cream, the topping, <laughs> that's where I was at, okay? That's the sweetness I need. Overall though, not bad. I would give it like a, a 6.5 out of 10. You know, it's up there. It's not the best. Room for improvement. Now we're just trying the strawberry milk concoction, the one that I'm most excited about. I feel like this one would be really good with boba balls. Here we go. Oh my god. That was just, <laughs> that was me just putting my mouth on a cloud ice cube with whipped cream. <laughs> There's just such a big, 
layer of whipped cream. I can't even get to the freaking milk aspect. Oh dang, this is where it's at. This one is so good. It's literally just strawberry milk and whipped cream. Where can you go wrong with that? I really want to try to make more drinks like this though. Like this might be my new hobby. Like this is so much fun for me. Just like experimenting in the kitchen, mind you. I wasn't that experimental. I really want to try making more in the future. This might be my calling in life. I'm gonna chug these drinks and get back to reading the sky blues. Good morning! It's another day of reading and bookish shenanigans. Welcome back. Even though you didn't really go anywhere. Got my cup of coffee. I feel like it's definitely gonna be a two cups of coffee kind of day. Like that's just how it's feeling so far. Like I know I'm gonna need more than one. I'm gonna need double the caffeine. Double me up, buttercup. I've got a reading update. I read quite a bit last night before bed and then I read quite a bit this morning and I'm gonna continue to read after I give you this little update, update, update. I read to page 183. I'm at the chapter that says 10 days. I really like this little detail on the chapters. They've got these little birds flying around. I just think it's a little cute addition to the book. I was not really expecting to like be hit that hard with this book, but there are some things that have been hitting hard, specifically just with our character Sky. That boy be going through it. Not only does he have to deal with his proposal being leaked to everybody, he also has to deal with like family issues, like really deep rooted issues within his family that are really hard to untangle and like not a lot of fun to untangle, I'm sure. He also has to deal with some douche canoes in his school. And I'm just feeling for our main character. I'm hoping at some point he catches a break. I will say that even though it is kind of like a bit emotional like not super emotional but like you just like uh you feel a lot of things it still is like a rather happy book like it's got a bit of a lighter tone going for it and I really appreciate that because like if this book was like drowning in sadness it would be a big old bummer don't get me wrong like those books are necessary like sometimes bummer books are a thing we need <laughs> Where am I going with this? But I'm glad that this one has like a bit of a lighter tone going for it because that's what I was in the mood for. Something a little bit more light. A little light dressing on my book salad. But yes, the plan is to finish this today. Feel like I can do that today. I just gotta stick to it. Just gotta keep on reading on. I'm gonna read a little bit more after I give you this update. Then I think I'm going to be organizing my new bookshelf. I'm gonna give you guys a little peeky weeky at my bookshelf. It's not like my actual bookshelves. It's just a bookshelf that I'm putting in my living room. I'll explain a little bit more later, but like also, Maybe we should talk about the, what's the saying? What is the saying? We should talk about the elephant in the room. Even though I don't really know if that saying goes for the situation. Anyway, I haven't been filming in front of my bookshelves in a long time. I haven't filmed in front of them in a long time. And that's because I'm filming a bookshelf organization video. And like, if you've never seen one of my bookshelf organization videos, then you probably don't know the work that goes into them. But like, if you have seen them, then maybe you know the work that goes into them. But I wanna do a big old bookshelf organization video to review feel my new bookshelves, even though they're basic as heck and like every booktuber ever has them, but like, shh, it's fine. I'm just working on that before I want to film in front of those bookshelves. Like I want that video to go up before I film in front of them. I know that that doesn't make any sense to y'all, but like it makes sense to me. I just want to do a big old bookshelf organization reveal. Anyway, I'm going to be organizing a bookshelf today. I'm going to be playing some DVD at some point, I'm sure. I want to go on a walk because it's not gloomy gloomy today. The sun is shiny. The skies are blue. <laughs> I hate myself. And most importantly, I want to finish this book. So let's go. <laughs> Time for another update. Hey, hey. I promised myself that I would read 50 more pages before I tackled this project behind me, AKA new bookshelf in my living room, AA. I read to chapter, well, they're not chap they're not numbered chapters. I read to chapter four days. I read to page 238. Making my way downtown through this book. Read and fast and I'm homebound. -na 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 -na. <laughs> there's some aggravating things happening and there's some fun things happening. Let's start with the aggravating thing. There's a person in authority who should not be in authority. He is a major Dick? Is that okay to say? He's not very good. Not a fan. Do not stand. Let's just say that he does not really care about Sky. That's essentially the situation. The fun thing on the other hand is the kind of romance element. There's a situation where like somebody clearly likes Sky and it's like right under his nose but Sky is like unable to sniff it up and like realize the situation right before him and it's just like come on my dude. Look right in front of you. Pick up the signs. There's some flirtation happening right there. There's a part of me that just wants to scream at Sky and be like, look right there. Wake up, brother. That's my update. But right now I'm going to be organizing these bookshelf or this bookshelf behind me. I almost just said these bookshelves. I do eventually want to have like four of these in my living room. I'm currently in a corner in my living room and I want to have like four. This is going to be hard to explain. I want two there and two there. For this bookshelf right here, I'm mostly going to be putting a lot of my translated fiction on. I kind of want to have a spot to where I see it 
and maybe it will influence me to pick up more translated fiction. One of my main goals that I set out to do this year is to read more translated fiction and I've been failing. So I'm gonna be mostly putting some of my translated fiction on here, but I also have some like adult fiction books I'm gonna be putting on here and some other books. I'm looking around the living room because I've got stacks of books in my living room currently. Let's get to organizing. I did it, I completed the bookshelf. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, honestly. I like all the bits and bobs all over it. I will give you a little bit of an overdue, overdue. I will give you a little bit of an overview here now. Time for a little bookshelf tour. Up here we've got a little lamp moment. We've got some bookish things. I've got a bookish game and then just some like bookish books. <laughs> got some fake plants up in here because you know, can't keep a real plant alive, so what's the use? I've got a CD player up here because yes, I am a grandpa and I still listen to CDs. I mean, if you're into K-pop, you listen to CDs. I've got this fragrant diffuser thing. Next shelf, I've got quite a few books that kind of have a similar color palette. I've got some Murakami books up in here. I've got the book that I'm currently Currently reading on the side. Oh, there goes the lighting. Love the in and out lighting. It's Moshi Moshi and the notebook I'm using to take notes on it. This is actually an anime notebook that I've been keeping to track the anime that I've been watching, even though I've been slacking in that area. Got some decor things happening right here. Next shelf, I've got quite a few translated books here. Most of them are Japanese translated, I would say. I mean, there's some Korean ones. Got a little chest here. I don't have anything in this yet, but I'm going to put some stuff in there. Probably bookmarks. I've got a little candle moment happening here. I really like this. I found this at a thrift store. Again, I've got most mostly translated books on this shelf as well. A fake plant. This I found at a thrift store as well. It's just like a little bookstore front and I just really like it. Then I found this crate thing at a thrift store as well and I've just been putting some bookmarks in there so it's easy access and hopefully I can remember to use these instead of receipts. Next shelf, I've got this like head planter that I'm just obsessed with. I know it's kind of weird, but like I love it. I don't know why, but I love it. It just like makes me happy every time I see it. And I have my vintage Japan collection right here. I really want them to come out with more editions like this because I love them so much. They're so nice. And then I've got my bicycle bookends. Down here I have my The Art of Studio Ghibli books, which are really, really cool. I love flipping through those. And then this is a Kiki's Delivery Service book that dropped last summer. Then over here I just have some random adult books that I want to get to soon and some ones that just couldn't fit on my other bookshelves because I'm going through an overflow situation right now. And I also have this Spirited Away mug on this shelf that I love to death. It's so cool. Now I'm going to read some more of the Sky Blues. Actually, you know what? I think I might go to Panera and see if they have an Asiago cheese bagel because I don't know what it is about today, but I am craving an Asiago cheese bagel. Does anybody else ever just like get those like weird random cravings and you just like have to have it? You have to like drop what you're doing and go get it. Like that's what I'm going to do. And like, I'm going to be sad if I get to that Panera and they don't have any Asiago cheese bagels. <laughs> It's 
the end of the vlog as we know it. I finished the book. I finished the sky's blue, the sky blues, the sky blues. Yes, that's the title. I always want to say the sky's blue, the blues sky, the blue sky. It's the sky blues. Get it right, get it tight. Overall, I ended up really enjoying this book. I think there are a few things that were left open-ended, which is okay for me, like personally, I don't care that much because the main plot, the main conflict came to a close and I felt like it came to a close in a satisfying way. I can see why people might not have vibed well with the ending, but overall, I love this book. I feel like it explored a lot of things in a short amount of time. It was a lot more hard hitting of a book that I realized. Obviously, knowing the description, I should have known that it was gonna hit a little bit hard, but I like that it kind of messed up my feelings a little bit. I'm glad that it came up and just jacked me up in the feels. It was a solid debut and I'm excited to read more of Robbie Couch's books in the future. But that is it for the vlog guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I feel like it was kind of all over the place but what video of mine is not all over the place? That's on brand for me. You guys should let me know down below in the comments a book that you are currently reading. I want to know what you're reading right now. If you like this video be sure to go and hit that like button. If you want to see more bookish content from me be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your day is bright, that tomorrow is brighter. Keep reading what your heart desires, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, yo!